Hi everyone. Good morning. Happy Sunday. Um, <clears throat> Sister Liz will be joining us this morning. And i um, happy to have her. She's a daughter of Charity of St. Vincent de Paul in Texas. So it's wonderful. And today, um, St. Joseph of Cupertino. Uh, clearly, good morning. Clearly what God wants above all is our will, which we received as a free gift from God in creation and possess as though our own. When a man trains himself to act, to acts of virtue, it is with the help of grace from God, from whom all good things come. The will is what man has as his unique possession. It's beautiful. I think sister's here. Good morning. Good morning. Hi, Barb. sister hey good morning can you hear me okay i can, I can. okay great Thank thanks so much thanks for joining us yeah i'm just happy to be here i'm honored to be invited oh so sweet <laughs> um i was gonna go ahead and share our intentions for this morning please go ahead um from mindy a dear friend who is suffering her third miscarriage uh mm -hmm. for her healing journey and for her and her spouse to find love <clears throat> through this most difficult journey um from Megan, for peace in our world and in our homes. And then from Kathleen, for the repose of the soul of my husband. May eternal rest be granted to him, O oh Lord. Um, and then just want to pray for everybody here and all of those intentions, both said and unsaid, um, and those who join us. And sister, is there anything you'd like to pray for? Oh, there's so many things happening in the world. I mean, I, I think we just pray for peace, right? Um, you know, for mm -hmm. all who are suffering. Yeah, amen. Yes. Um, is, did you want to lead or is it okay if I lead? Yeah, you go right ahead. Okay. <laughs> All right. In the name of the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. Amen. I believe in God, the Father Almighty, creator of heaven and earth, and in Jesus Christ, his only Son, our Lord, who was conceived by the Holy Spirit, born of the Virgin Mary, suffered under Pontius Pilate, was crucified, died, and was buried. He descended into hell, and on the third day he rose again from the dead. He ascended into heaven and sits at the right hand of God, the Father Almighty. From whence he shall come to judge the living and the dead. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Holy Catholic Church, the communion of saints, the forgiveness of sins, the resurrection of the body, and life everlasting. Amen. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day <clears throat> our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For an increase in the virtues of faith, hope, and charity, we pray. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. As it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. O my Jesus, forgive us our sins, save us from the fires of hell. Lead all souls to heaven, especially those who most need of thy mercy. The first glorious mystery is the resurrection, and we pray for an increase in faith. Somewhere in the night, the crucified one stepped out of the empty grave with the fire of victory in his heart, in an unconquerable joy in his soul as he definitively triumphed over sin and death. Jesus told Mary Magdalene, but go to my brothers and sisters and tell them, I'm going to my father and your father, to my God and your God. Although the scriptures do not tell us, surely the first person Jesus visited after his resurrection was his mother. Mary was with Jesus during his birth, his life, and his death. Certainly Jesus would be with Mary at his resurrection. He is also with us, 
now and at the hour of our death, preparing a place for us where we hope to go and be with him forever. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, <clears throat> pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. As it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. O my Jesus, forgive us our sins, save us from the fires of hell. Lead all souls to heaven, especially those who must need of thy mercy. The second glorious mystery is the ascension of Jesus, and we pray for an increase in hope. After his glorious resurrection, Jesus encouraged his disciples and built up their faith, presenting himself alive to them by many proofs, appearing and speaking about the kingdom of God. His final blessing gave his disciples peace, favor, strength, and the grace to carry out the mission and vision of the kingdom. They were reminded of Jesus' words, and if I go and prepare a place for you, I will come back again and take you to myself, so that where I am, you will also be. Jesus has gone home to his Father, however, he is present to us in his church, in his word, and in his sacraments. Do I seek Jesus' presence as I go about my daily life? Do I live now so as to someday join him with the Father? Do I set my mind on the things that are above where Christ is seated at his Father's right hand? Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. 
Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, <clears throat> pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. As it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. O oh my Jesus, forgive us our sins, save us from the fires of hell. Lead all souls to heaven, especially those who most need of thy mercy. The third glorious mystery is the descent of the Holy Spirit, and we pray for the gifts of the Holy Spirit. After the ascension, Mary and the disciples were praying together in one place, as Jesus had instructed them. Early Pentecost morning, there came a noise like a strong driving wind that filled the whole house. Tongues as of fire appeared, parted, and rested on each of them. All were filled with the Holy Spirit, and now they could go forth in power, for the Comforter had come. We too have received the Holy Spirit in our baptism and confirmation. Yet there is more. Every morning we can ask the Spirit to fill us anew and to release in us all of his wonderful gifts. As we live in the, under the anointing of the Holy Spirit, he will produce us in us the fruits of love, joy, peace, patience, kindness, generosity, faithfulness, gentleness, and self-control. Come, Holy Spirit. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God. Pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, Pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. 
Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit to thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit to thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit to thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. O my Jesus, forgive us our sins, save us from the fires of hell, lead all souls to heaven, especially those who most need of thy mercy. The fourth glorious mystery is the Assumption of Mary into heaven, and um, we pray for a happy death. The Church teaches that... <laughs> Mary, the mother of Jesus, was taken up body and soul into heaven after the completion of her earthly life. Because of her immaculate conception, Mary was freed from the consequences of original sin. Mary is both the sign of what heaven holds for us and also a mother to help us get there. In the words of St. Paul, just as we have borne the image of the earthly one, we shall also bear the image of the heavenly one. Mary had a calling, and we do as well. In the beginning, we make our choices, and in the end, our choices make us. Am I ready to meet the Lord? Do I pray for the grace of a happy death? Now is the time to wake from sleep and prepare for the hour. Mary will help us to experience the glorious truth that death is swallowed up in victory. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. As it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. O my Jesus, forgive us our sins, save us from the fires of hell. Lead all souls to heaven, especially those who most need of thy mercy. 
The fifth glorious mystery is the coronation of Mary, Queen of Heaven, and we pray for love of Mary. The rosary begins with Isaiah's sign, the virgin shall be with child and bear a son, and ends by encouraging us to look to Mary, the woman clothed with the sun. Mary is not only mother, but also queen of the universe, reigning now with her son and rewarded by God for being his most faithful disciple. Mary's mission endures until the end of time to mother all of us, her children, through our lives on earth and into the heavenly kingdom, our true home. In this mystery, let us consider our relationship with Mary. The church encourages us to consecrate ourselves to her and to ask her help in doing whatever Jesus tells us. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. As it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. O my Jesus, forgive us our sins, save us from the fires of hell. Lead all souls to heaven, especially those in most need of thy mercy. Hail, Holy Queen, Mother of Mercy. Hail, our life, our sweetness, and our hope. To thee do we cry, poor banished children of Eve. To thee do we send up our sighs, mourning and weeping in this valley of tears. Turn then, most gracious advocate, the eyes of mercy towards us. And after this, our exile, show unto us the blessed fruit of thy womb, Jesus. O clement, O loving, O sweet Virgin Mary. Pray for us, O Holy Mother of God. That we be made worthy of the promises of Christ. Let us pray. O oh God, by your only begotten Son, by his life, death, and resurrection, has purchased for us the rewards of eternal life. Grant we beseech thee that by meditating upon these mysteries of the most holy rosary of the Blessed Virgin Mary, that we may imitate what they contain and obtain what they promise through the same Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. And then, Sister Liz, do you want to lead the St. Michael prayer? Okay. St. Michael the Archangel, <clears throat> defend us in battle. Be our protection against the wickedness and snares of the devil. May God rebuke him, we humbly pray. And do thou, Prince of the Heavenly Host, 
by the power of God, cast into hell Satan and all the evil spirits who prowl about the world seeking the ruin of souls. Amen. Thanks, sister. <laughs> Thank you so much. What a gift. Oh, yeah. It, yes. What a gift and a grace to be here. <laughs> It really is. We're always constantly praising God and, <laughs> and thankful because um, we always say we only expected this to go for maybe a month. <laughs> and um, <laughs> so, <laughs> and so the, just constantly thanking the Holy Spirit and Mary. Um, so, Sister, one thing we always love to ask sure. about is your experience with the rosary, how it's helped you on your journey with Christ. Um, and then, of course, because you're a religious, we'd love to hear about your vocation story and your discernment. So. Great. Well, first, can I just say, like, 500 people praying the rosary? Like, I'm just so excited. What a cool, what a cool thing. Um, I think one of our other sisters was on, I, I'm not quite sure, but Sister Kate uh, McFall, mm -hmm. who's in Macon, Georgia, she was on here with you guys. And um, so cool. Um, yeah, I, I'm happy to, to share a little bit about um, the rosary. I I think in my life, everybody has this kind of, um, maybe you don't start out with a, a very um, well-developed relationship with Mary. And um, I think we've gone, I've gone through many seasons of, um, you know, growth and understanding. And maybe the rosary sometimes felt like, um, like a chore or like something, oh, I just got to get it done. And, you know, when I was younger, we, we really didn't, pray the rosary together as a family or, or anything like that. Um, my parents uh, are, are from the charismatic movement. And so they're very like, you know, um, relational, I guess you could say with, with mm -hmm. God. And, and I'm so, so grateful for that because, you know, I, I learned that God is moving in our lives every day and, and we can talk to him at any time. And, and so I, I definitely consider that my, my spiritual heritage and, um, and so when I, when I came to the, the Daughters of Charity, um, our, our community has a great devotion to Mary and to the rosary. Um, it's part of our constitutions. And so um, it's something that we pray daily. And, and so I definitely had to grow into that because I felt like, um, gosh, I, I never prayed the rosary really much at all. And then, you know, we, we pray it every day. And, um, and so I think just growing into like walking with Mary in that and um, learning from her and, and especially, you know, our, our fourth vow is to the service of the poor. And so kind of integrating that into my devotion with the rosary, um, there's a lot of ways to pray the rosary and ways to meditate. And um, I think that's given the rosary a different kind of character for me of um, thinking about pregnant women, thinking about um, people who are suffering and carrying their crosses. And there's just so many um, ways to, and nuances, I guess you could say, in, in the rosary. And so um, it's a gift. And, and sometimes, like I said, it can feel like a, like a chore or just gotta, gotta get it out of the way. But I, there's so much grace in, in whatever it is. Um, I, I think, sometimes we're, we're looking for a feeling from God in prayer, or we're searching for some kind of um, message or, or something. And, and sometimes it's, it's not about that. I mean, if, if God speaks to us, or um, I guess you could say, like, uh, moves us emotionally, then great. Um, mm -hmm. But if not, if it's, it's the fruit of our faithfulness, and just coming in and saying, like, I'm I, I believe this is important and I know that God is moving and the spirit is working in me. Um, what a gift. Uh, so yeah, I, I, I love Mary and I think every, at every um, point in her life, you know, we can find something that, that we can hang our hat on and say, you know, today I want to think about Mary as a young person, or I want to think mm -hmm. about Mary in her relationship with Joseph um, or I want to think more about Mary walking with Jesus, carrying his cross. Um, I think all of us can, can really find something to be inspired by with Mary. Yeah, 
Absolutely. It's beautiful. Yeah. <laughs> There's always a, yeah, it's always a journey of discovery for sure. <laughs> It never ends. No. And there's always something new. Mm -hmm. um, yeah. Yeah. I, and I mean, I'm happy to, to share a little bit about, I, I know um, not everybody is called to, to religious life or consecrated life. And um, I think the, the thing that drew me for real was, was the aspect of service at the beginning, you know, um, we grew up doing, doing service projects and going to sing at the, at the uh, nursing home and, and different things. And um, that really came from my family life and my parents who I am constantly grateful for. And I know we have a lot of um, parents on the, and maybe grandparents even who are, mm -hmm. who are listening and watching and um, it, it never goes unnoticed. And, and when we do that for our kids, um, well, they can grow up like me and say, wow, my parents are so great, you know, and they, <laughs> you know, they instilled in me such wonderful values and, um, and a prayer life, you know, the, those things are really important. And, um, you know, I, I met the sisters when I was in, when I was in college, actually, um, for anyone who's from the DC metro area, I went to Mary Washington, which is about an hour south of Washington, DC. Okay. And um, I was a biology major, which is funny now that I'm a, <laughs> I'm a sister. <laughs> but, you know, my, my dream of, I, I was very um, inspired by that movie Outbreak. Uh, mm -hmm. This is, I'm dating myself, of course, but um, I really wanted to work in an in, in infectious disease and, um, wow. and it work in a lab and all that stuff. And um but at the same time, I was going down that path, and then I was also very involved in our campus ministry. Um, people, people might be or may not be aware of, uh, you know, um, the Youth Apostles, which is a group of uh, male, a men's community uh, that has priests and, and married men and single consecrated guys. And they do a lot of youth ministry in that area, in the D.C. metro area, Virginia Tech, UVA, all of those um, places and, and we were blessed to have uh, a chaplain at Mary Washington who was awesome. And so I say I majored in biology, but I also majored in campus ministry in many ways, um, doing retreats and service projects. And um, so my first experience with the Daughters of Charity was in Baltimore City, and, and we served at a soup kitchen and, and got to know them. And just for me, it was seeing the sisters as real people and Yes, they were very serious about their, their work and their prayer life. And, and they could also laugh and enjoy mm -hmm. life and poke fun at each other and all that good stuff. So um, that's when I really saw like, oh, wait, you know, this could be a real thing in, mm -hmm. in my life. Um, a real option, I guess you could say. Right. And um, that it kind of started from there. Then I go on a vocation retreat and then you know, keep praying and going to adoration and, and saying like, Lord, what do you want in my life? And um, maybe you had this experience in some way of, you know, you imagined your life would go one direction and, and then boom, curveball, and, mm -hmm. and God has, has a different plan. And just realizing, you know, I could be happy in a way that I, I never would have otherwise. And what a gift. Yeah. Yeah, absolutely. Did, mm -hmm. did you did you discern that like after college or it, it was through college and then? I was really like wrestling. Because I thought you looked like you were in college. <laughs> <laughs> You're so nice. Thank you. <laughs> we, say, we need to practice the sister's skincare because they all look amazing. Yeah, we never wear makeup. That's the mm -hmm. key. We don't I, ever so... wear makeup. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. Uh, no, but I, I'm going to tell the, the younger sister in my house about that, that you said I'd look like I was in college. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my. Um, but yeah, so I, I was um, a junior and, and then early in my senior year. And I was like, I don't know, maybe I should apply to enter. And I was mm -hmm. doing, you know, like, should I be a PA? Should I do this? Should I go to grad school? And Right. I'll never forget a conversation I had with my dad on the phone. And I was like, dad, I don't know. Like, I just don't feel very motivated to do these applications and stuff like that uh, for, cause I was maybe going to go a PhD route. And, right. and he said like, if you don't want to do it, don't do it. <laughs> <laughs> I 
I mean, it was that simple. And I, and I was like, wait, really? <laughs> <laughs> and, and I just, it was, it was powerful for me, just the simplicity of like, if you're not motivated to do an application, you are definitely not going to be motivated to do a PhD and go that down that road. And, um, well, yeah, it was definitely, definitely a great, um, movement. And, and I actually ended up doing a year of service. I did, um, Cap Corps with the Capuchin Francis Franciscans up in New York. Oh. And yeah, so I did a year of service with them and we did a lot of, um, like high school class retreats, confirmation retreats, service projects. And, um, it was a, it was a really good learning experience for me. And it sort of bought me another year of, of thinking about religious life and, or maybe not, like I was mm -hmm. like, maybe this will just go away. Um, and then, so at, at one point, so after that, I was kind of like, you know what, I just need to, I need to go, go in it and, and see if it works. And then if it doesn't, then I'm still young enough to start my life and get married right. and do whatever. So, um, so much for, I'm just going to try it out and, and then leave. <laughs> Um, that didn't work out so well. <laughs> so uh, I just I fell in love, you know, fell mm -hmm. in love with this life and, and with this call to serve the poor and, and to be around vulnerable, marginalized people. Mm -hmm. It's, um, that's what Jesus did on this earth is, is find the least and, and go after that, that one out of 99. And, um, I'm just grateful that, you know, I, I thank God for my vocation. I some sometimes I'll ask myself, what, like, me? I don't know. You know, this is kind of crazy. But um, the call is the call. And no matter how, like, crazy or worldly or what have you, um, you might be, um, it's a gift. Yes. And, and we can't earn it. So. Were, were your parents surprised? You I know what? My... You we're doing all those services. I think it was kind of similar to my path of growing and, and questioning. And, and they were like, you're going to Emmitsburg again. I don't know if you, if you know, Emmitsburg, Maryland, it's where the national shrine of St. Elizabeth Ann Seton is. Oh. <clears throat> and it's just a sacred place. I mean, I, I consider it like the home of my vocation. Um, because, you know, you just walk into this giant, it's like wash, walking into the National Shrine in DC, like it's just breathtaking. Um, and, you know, they, they just like, you, what, you're gonna go up there again? <laughs> so, <laughs> you know, but, but after a while, I mean, they just, they wanted me to be happy and, and they still do. I mean, God bless them. They're just, they, they said, oh, okay, all right, you know, and they came and visited the sisters and got to know them. And, and, you know, now they still, they still go to Emmitsburg and they, they keep in touch about sister so-and-so and is she doing okay and all that. <laughs> um, so they're, they're like the mom and dad of the community in some ways, which is really lovely. That is, that's, that's, that's awesome. <laughs> mm -hmm. They were, did you grow up on the East Coast then? Not in Texas. No, no, I'm on mission in Texas, but um, actually my father was in the Air Force for 23 years, so we moved around quite a lot um, every two, three years when I was growing up, but we, um, he ended up getting a job at the Pentagon, and, and we settled in Northern Virginia outside of D.C. Okay, okay. Yeah, so that's where I kind of like went to high, high school and then college there, and um, so I do, they're still living there, so I, I do consider that home when I Okay. Um, you know, talk about Virginia and DC. Mm -hmm. Yeah, no, that's, that's wonderful. I was like, hmm, I wonder why she's, but, um, <laughs> okay, perfect. Um, last question. You mentioned they were in the charismatics. Mm -hmm. Like, is, is, um, that, I always find that so interesting because I'm like, yeah. uh, and he was in the Air Force too. Like, yep. what, how beautiful, right? Is that, Everybody has different stories and, and, you know, I think moving around a lot, I think was, was so, um, well, it gives you a certain ease with new situations and, and we saw the church in all its, in all its form and beautiful different cultures and, um, expressions. And so, you know, like I, I'm, I come from the Diocese of Arlington, where I guess you could say it's a little bit more on the traditional side. 
Um, mm-hmm. But then my parents are, you know, it also in the charismatic um, faith and or that sort of expression, I guess you could say. And right. and so, you know, speaking in tongues and people, you know, getting prayed over and and stuff mm-hmm. like that. I, you know, to see how the how the church can exist in so many different ways and and cultures and expressions. Um, I think it really helped me because it's I you know, I can't, I can't judge the way another person prays, or I can't say like, oh, you're doing it wrong, or, or what have you, you know, I, I, God is, God is God, and, um, you know, illicit mass is, is, is licit, you know, it's whether, right. whether the priest is facing me, or, or the other way, or we're all facing the same direction, you know, I, I, I'm just, I'm just grateful that for the way that I grew up, because it, it really helped me to, to have a wider vision of yeah. of what the church can be and um and religious life too because there's a lot of different expressions of you know sisters in habit out of habit sisters that do this and that um sisters that you know pray in a certain way and mm-hmm. um god bless them for it i i think you know we're we're a huge church that's why they yeah. call it the catholic church and um it's a it's a gift to um to see how the people how people pray and and how they connect with god and um, now i'm on the border you know i live here in texas and uh harlingen which if you imagine the state of texas it comes down to this little tip at the bottom and that's yes. that's where we are um, oh really mm-hmm. yeah so we have a house down here and um to see the the mexican culture and how how they pray and the mariachis and the matachinas and Mm -hmm. you know um that's just the faith faith expressions and that's not even talking about how great the food is i know (laughs) now where are you where are you these days i'm in uh south bend indiana there you go but originally from minnesota um yeah so that's crazy so my mom grew up in minnesota in crookston oh really i don't know if you know crookston is way up there it is it's far north so she's yes. <laughs> she she can take on anything i always find Minnesotans, they're like so what if there's 12 feet of snow we're gonna do this and we just go and we don't think about it um you know yeah it's just, oh man they're it's just the fun. kindest loveliest people aren't they they really yes <laughs> they really are um and yeah i think when i heard the charismatics a friend recently mentioned to me about encounter ministries and i was always like huh and so whenever i hear about because i think i think you just said it so well in that um the expression of faith and is so beautiful and seeing it like this yeah moment. yeah i mean you you would know the people of praise then that's the that's the community that my mm-hmm. parents belong to they're in south bend and um you know we went to church also i mean definitely catholic in that sense um right but you, you know to to my dad's the kind of guy like oh bill will you pray for me and he's like well let's just pray right now you know like he's he's like and father you know it, it's just really it's and- really just sweet and and adorable how you know like why do we need to wait to pray let's just pray right now um yeah. what a what an amazing uh, witness to to God's movement and the and the movement of the spirit. And that's what I absolutely fell in love with watching them because I was always that reserved like, oh yes, I'll pray for you in my room and then, you know, two hours from now, you know what I mean? But then right. I would watch them and they literally would just be like, All right, we're praying and like just and, and we're in the middle of a, a store. <laughs> yes. And yes. Um, yeah. It can take people off guard, but but you know it's such a it's coming from such a great place and it really um, is the yeah. the belief that god can move right now right here mm-hmm. uh is is awesome yeah yeah no hesitation that's it was yes yeah, it's, it's so warm and loving yeah it's beautiful so mm. what a what a wonderful beautiful family to to grow up with it. yeah 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 well thank you sister oh wait you have a podcast yes do we do have a podcast do you want to talk about that real quick? Yes. Pretty... For all the people who are listening, when you're done here, whenever <laughs> you're done here listening to our beautiful voices, you can continue to hear my beautiful voice mm-hmm. over on com- in, in the Company of Charity podcast. Um, on, on Instagram, we're just Company of Charity podcast. Mm-hmm. 
Okay. And um, we're on Spotify and Apple Podcasts and wherever, if you just Google it, whatever podcast app you use, um, you can find us. And it's myself. So I'm Sister Liz. And then there's a Sister Elizabeth, who um, we both co-host the podcast. And it's um, we're good friends and we have a lot of fun and do interviews with people and things like that. So mm -hmm. um, just about, you know, the faith and service and prayer and discernment um it's it's really a a good mix of all the kinds of um catholic related faith related stuff yeah yeah oh that's wonderful i'm excited to listen yeah. it's, it's just it's it's great conversation and good topics and we just learn so much so thank you thank you yes yeah thanks thank for you. thanks for reminding me yeah oh, so yeah. <laughs> I, go listen to the podcast you guys like we we love it and we have a lot of fun and Mm -hmm. So we'd love to hear your feedback and stuff. Okay, perfect, perfect. Mm -hmm. So, well, thank you. Thank you so much again, sister, for, for joining and praying with us. Um, it was just so yes. It was an honor and, and God bless you in your ministry and what you do with this. I think it's amazing. And, you know, getting people to pray the rosary and maybe they come back every day and maybe they just uh, come in every now and again. And um, that's a, that's a cool thing. You just never know what God is going to do. And, no. and so what a great ministry. No, we don't. Thank you. And I'll pray for you as, as the weather starts to cool down. I know you get all four seasons up there. So yes. <laughs> maybe ice and snow is coming your way here in a few months. But yeah. um, you guys over in South Bend, what a great, it's a great little city. And um, mm -hmm. my, my dad was a graduate of Purdue. And so there's, I um, Purdue. <laughs> there you go. So Boilermakers, Boiler Up. Um, mm -hmm. Thank you so much for the invitation. It really was an honor to be with you guys. It's so wonderful having you. Praise God. Thank you. Yes. All right. Take it easy. <laughs> Bye. Thanks. Bye. <laughs>